guys, it's Darcy Lacouvet here from Android Authority, one of the best Android sites in the world. We're reporting live from Las Vegas. We're here at CES 2013. Now, we just had the privilege of attending NVIDIA's press event here, and they released some amazing technology. They debuted their Tegra 4 SoC. Now, what we're looking at here is an ARM Cortex A15 quad core chipset. Their GPU incorporates 72 unique GPUs. It's going to be remarkably powerful. And in their demonstration, they showed us that it just completely demolishes the A15 dual core Exynos 5250 featured in the Nexus 10. They were able to load 25 web pages in like 27 seconds, something that most powerful laptops today can't even match. So let's check out the Tegra 4. It's Android Authority here with Darcy LeCouvet reporting live from CES 2013. Mathematics so quickly 
that effectively at the end of the shot, you have HDR. Number four does it. As we go bam, bam, we take two shots, two simultaneous shots. And then all processors are deployed and running to do the alignment, the warping, the registration, the tone mapping, all of the necessary image processing, and boom, it goes out one single photo. It basically is a one-shot HDR. What comes out of the chip right off the bat is HDR. What that means is every software application today just works. No modification necessary. No porting necessary. You could either decide, I would like to have HDR on all the time, and then as a result, in that particular case, it was just a Google camera that came off of Android, pure Android, and it is fully HDR. Now, just to illustrate the benefits of a software-defined radio with this software modem technology, compare it to the state-of-the-art LTE modem. It is so much smaller, and the reason for that, the reason for that is this architecture was, this programmable architecture was designed for modem technology, and because it, it's able to reuse, reuse each one of the processors for every stage of the pipeline, it doesn't have to replicate each space function once. Frankly, if NVIDIA today, if our industry in graphics was still using fixed function processors. In order for us to deliver the type of visual quality that we're seeing today, the chips would be many times larger as well. We were so enamored with this technology, we took the chance, and I'm incredibly proud and uh, gratified to say that we are now sampling a 4G modem based on this very technology. Let's give those guys a round of applause.